the second scoring criterion in the greatest need tenant targeting selection category is permanent supportive housing for high priority homeless or HPH. To be eligible for HPH points, a minimum of 5% of the total units, but no fewer than four units, must be set aside and rented to households prioritized for permanent supportive housing by the coordinated entry system. Applicants can receive additional continuum of care points if projects prioritize the local need identified by the local continuum of care, or COC. Note that applicants can see COC priorities listed for a project's county by reviewing the continuum of care priorities methodology. Minnesota Housing will validate all information with the submitted multifamily workbook. The HPH units must be marked as HPH units on the rent and income grid in the workbook and the type of rental subsidy must be indicated. If no subsidy is available, rent levels must be underwritten to the supportive housing units underwriting standards outlined in the multifamily underwriting standards, and they must be financially feasible. Projects must round up to the nearest unit. HPH units cannot overlap with people with disabilities units, which will be reviewed next. Note that rural development, RD projects, may be prohibited from selecting particular rent and income restrictions and or tenant household types. Consult with RD and Minnesota Housing staff with questions related to this. Also note that the self-scoring worksheet outlines several threshold requirements that must be met in order to be eligible for points. 